Hey guys, I'm Jody. I'm from Jody Moore Photography. Um, you've, you're, most of you are probably friends of mine on Facebook. Probably grown up with a lot of you all on um, going to school. So, um, and a lot of you are family, but hopefully we'll get some new followers soon. Um, so, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. Uh, probably put a few videos on Facebook. Uh, most of you all know that Josh and I, my husband, are both photographers. Uh, he works a lot with the national parks. Um, he's been published a lot. And I just kind of tag along because I love to travel and I love photography. Um, but something else that him and I also share is the love of history and our national parks. Um, a lot of you know that, but most of you don't. So, uh... A couple of years ago, Josh and I decided that we were going to start a YouTube channel together, um, kind of documenting our travels um, and our life of how we do all of our traveling. And uh, he's picky. He wants to be um, perfect, <laughs> and he wants to get this big, nice camera, which is understandable. But I'm tired of waiting, so. I decided to go ahead and start my own YouTube video, so um, we're my own YouTube channel, so here we are. Um, my only problem is, is that it's been raining here in Northeast Tennessee for what seems like months. Everything is flooded. So along with that comes the challenge of can't really get out and see much and show you things, not even around our area. Um, the reason why I haven't went ahead and done all of this is because um, our family and friends know that Josh was um, he was laid off last year in May, which kind of puts a damper on traveling because you kind of need money to do all the traveling, um, and we just didn't have it, so it kind of put things off a little bit. But he recently got a job. He's on his second week of his new job, so yay! We get to travel now, um, starting soon. But while it's not summer, um, and it's yucky and rainy and flooding here, schools have been letting out early or not going at all. Um, I'm actually at Netherland Inn Park right now. I was just wanting to see how high the river was. It's not quite as high as it was last week. But it's definitely getting there. Um, a lot of the green belt, the walkway that everybody walks here, um, is flooded. And it's about to reach over the banks of the river. So I'm not going to get out and show you all that. And plus, I just don't want to get wet and cold. Because it is still February and still kind of chilly out. Um, so I'm not going to be showing you a whole lot of that today either. Um, I started to do a video last week, and I was going to go to Laurel Run Park in Churchill, where we live, and show you that and kind of give you a little bit of history on that park. It was closed because it was flooded. Um, so I'm high up in a parking area um, next to the Netherland Inn over there. The actual Netherland Inn is over there. Um, so I'm kind of up away from the river, so I'm safe, but I'm still not going to get out and show you anything because it's it's pouring rain and it is flooded everywhere um, so I'm going to just sit here in my car and stay nice and dry um, so I love history I love traveling I love amusement parks um, I love our national parks and we do a lot of that um, both of us love weird roadside attractions and neon signs that no longer work um, abandoned places we love that um, we go hiking a lot. He does more than I do just because he's a little bit more able to. Um, I have a condition. I have osteoporosis. So it doesn't take a lot for me to break a bone. So unless I know that that trail is easy for me to do, then I'm not going to get out there and do it because I'm not chancing that. I still have to work and provide money and food to feed my family. Um, so I'm not going to chance it. Uh, so, I don't know, I think a lot of what started my desire to do this 
other than my love for traveling and photography and history. Um, I was that kid that grew up in that small town, good old Churchill, Tennessee, um, where we have absolutely nothing. We don't even have a Walmart. Um, our biggest store is Food City. And we have a McDonald's and a Domino's and a Pizza Plus um, and Pals. Pals is amazing. If you ever make your way to Northeast Tennessee, stop at Pals. Get a sauce burger. They're amazing. I love them. They're not good for you, but they're amazing. You need one. Um, anyways, so I grew up in good old Churchill, Tennessee, small, and I said as soon as I graduated, I was getting out of that place. It was boring. There's nothing, absolutely nothing there for me to do. Um, so I grew up had two children, went to college, and Josh and I started talking, um, and he was already living away. He had already moved away. Um, he moved four hours away to Lynchburg, Virginia. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I stayed and finished college, um, and as soon as I graduated, the day I graduated college, I walked across that stage. Um, we came back to Churchill packed up our vehicles and we moved off to Lynchburg, Virginia together with um, our children. Um, no, the children are not his biologically, um, but, you know, he's helped to raise them for a long time, so I do consider, I mean, he's their stepdad in every aspect of the way. He's amazing. He's an amazing dad, um, amazing husband. Um, I can't say enough about Josh, really. Um, and everybody that knows Josh knows. He would give you the shirt off his back. Um, truly an amazing guy. And I'm not just saying that because I'm married to him. There's a reason why I married him, though. Um, but we packed up, headed off, moved to Lynchburg, Virginia. And we were there um, together. He's, like I said, he was there before I was. Um, but we were there together for two to three years, and I thought it was awesome because I moved to this place where nobody knew me, nobody knew my name. Um, it was a whole fresh start because I've done some stuff um, in my past here in Northeast Tennessee that you know I'm not proud of. But now that I'm older, it's my history. It's what's made me who I am today. I'm stronger because of it. Um, and you know, I may delve into that in later videos but not today um so we moved off to lynchburg virginia and we would drive every other weekend back here to northeast tennessee we'd make that four hour drive with both children packed up in a car um and come back here to church hill so they could see that their biological father um and we've done that for a few years eh, the first year, maybe a year and a half, I hated coming back home. I didn't want to come back home. I didn't want to see nobody. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't want to be around this place. Um, and then it got to where I would cry every time we would leave Tennessee again. I, would, I didn't want to come back. I didn't want to go back to Lynchburg. Um, don't get me wrong. Lynchburg, Virginia is absolutely amazing. Full of history. It's close to Appomattox. Um, it's close to Williamsburg and Jamestown and Yorktown, which is all right there together. Um, Virginia Beach is close um, to where you can make it a weekend trip. You could go to the beach for the weekend and not cost an arm or a leg. Um, we actually made it a day trip a few times. Uh, what else do we do? There's Manassas that's not very far by. I mean, it, there's so much to do. And Lynchburg and the surrounding areas and it's so rich in history and I do I miss it I miss it all the time but not as much as what I missed Northeast Tennessee um, and all those years that I thought that there was nothing here now that I'm a little bit older with children um, there's a lot to do around here and it's beautiful and um, there is a lot of history here and there's a lot to do here um, especially if you have children 
we're close to one of the biggest national parks there is in America, um, the Great Smoky Mountains. And I know everybody's like, ugh, sick of going there because that's the only thing that's nearby. Um, the Great Smoky Mountains are beautiful, though. Um, and then you have your Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg and Sevierville, where Dolly Parton, my favorite, favorite, favorite celebrity, um, was born and raised. Um, absolutely love Dolly Parton. My lifelong dream is to just meet her. Even if I just touch her with my fingertip. I would probably pass out. I'd cry from happy, giddy joys of... I would probably pass out. That's what I would do. Because I love her that much. I met her uncle at Dollywood. Um, which we will definitely go there and I'll... Uh, do some videos on the history of it or just do videos of our day at Dollywood. Um, anyway, uh, I, we, I did have a chance to meet her uncle that kind of pushed her into um, the, her music career um, and he serenaded me. <laughs> I still cried. Um, I, I cried. I was ecstatic. I looked terrible because it was in the middle of summer and we just got off a wet ride and I was soaking wet and um, cold because where we met him was inside of her um, museum there and it's very air conditioned um, in the middle of summer and you'll freeze your butt off if you go in there and you're soaking wet. Um, so I was crying and shivering and I looked absolutely terrible um, but he serenaded me and talk to us and uh and Josh took a picture which I will I probably won't ever share with anyone to be honest um because it's it's not pretty um so there's Sevierville there's Pigeon Forge there's Gatlinburg the Great Smoky Mountains and then you have Cherokee North Carolina just over the mountains um you have Bryson City which is probably one of my favorite small hidden gems. Um, that's where the road to nowhere is. Um, we'll be going there and uh, I'll tell you a little bit of history about that. Um, and I do have a lot of pictures of these places already because I mean like I said it's some of my favorite places and we've been there and um, we've taken pictures of them. Um, we're close to Fontana Dam which is the biggest, I think it's the biggest um, dam on the east coast um, but it's part of the Smoky Mountains uh, and the AT, the Appalachian Trail goes over uh, Fontana Dam um, Tale of the Dragon which is absolutely terrifying for me um, and I always end up having to pee really bad and there's no bathrooms anywhere along that road um, oh the last section of the Foothills Parkway was just opened up We'll be doing that. I'm hoping that we'll get to do all of Foothills Parkway all in one day. Hopefully on a nice sunny day. Um, and then we do the Blue Ridge Parkway all the time because we love it. We're both volunteers with the Cumberland Gap um, National Park. We go there quite a bit. Um, and we shoot events there. And um, my daughter Abby's actually... A volunteer reenactor there um, so we do go there quite a bit uh, Mammoth Cave I hope to make it up to again um, up in Kentucky which isn't far from here I think it's like four hours away too I'm hoping we get to go back to Lynchburg and Appomattox and uh, Manassas and Williamsburg and Jamestown and Yorktown I hope we get to go there this year I'm not sure you know we just kind of go with the flow um, if God's willing, we'll be there um, sometime this year. Uh, gosh, there's so much to do. I want to go to Chattanooga. Josh and the kids have never been to Chattanooga. I was in, I think, fourth grade whenever we went to Lookout Mountain and Rock City and the Tennessee Aquarium. And I remember loving it and always wanting to go back. So I'm hoping we'll get to go to Chattanooga and spend um, a lot of time and see Rock City because um, you see those famous barns everywhere that has see Rock City written on the roof um, so I want to take the kids and Josh there I think they'd love it 
We want to do the incline railway and the aquarium um, and the battlefields there around it. Uh, gosh, there's a lot that we really want to do this year, especially since we've been kind of cooped up in the house and not been able to really do anything. Um, so we're hoping to do that. Um, a lot of museums, we love museums and we're fortunate enough to have at least one kid who loves to go to a museum. Um, Ethan, my youngest, he's a little book nerd and I love it. Um, he likes history also. My daughter Abby I think really likes it but you know she's a teenage girl and she's too cool to admit it, you know. Um, so there is a lot and I want to introduce you all to all of our friends that kind of help make it all of our traveling possible. Um, our park ranger friends, I call them, and uh, Josh's college friends, and uh, I don't really have a lot of friends that I hang out with outside of uh, work. I have work friends. I, I'm a loner. Sorry. I am. I like to hang out with my husband and my kids. That's it. That's what I do. Um, not necessarily because I just don't like people. Um, I do like people. I like certain people. There's a lot of people I don't like, but I'll still talk to them and stuff. I'm not rude. I, I know Jesus. Um, and I love him and I treat everybody with the same love that Jesus shows me. That's it. Um... I don't know. And then there's places like this around us. Um, Netherland Inn Park. So much history here in Kingsport. Um, which is near Churchill for those of you that don't know. Um, there's a lot of history in Rogersville for the Amos Mill. Um, they're trying to refurbish it. And, uh, I think it's on the historic list now. I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that. Um, and then there's Laura Run where there was a pretty famous movie filmed there at Laurel Run Park in Churchill and also in Rogersville um, called The River um, with Sissy Spacek and I think uh, I can't think of the guy's name for whatever reason. I'll have to look it up or you all can look it up and um, read about it but it's a pretty famous movie made in the early 80s uh, before I was born but I still like it because it's part of the history where I'm from. Um, so we'll be doing a lot of traveling. I'll be going over a lot of history. You'll be seeing a lot of our, uh, traveling, um, routines, I guess, which really isn't much one. We're very unorganized, um, for uh, both of us to be pretty OCD. We're pretty unorganized whenever it comes to traveling. I don't know. Um, I take everything. We go on a two-day trip, I take like 10 outfits and 10 underwear like I'm going to poop my pants or something and I'm not going to have enough underwear to do me for two days. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a female. That's what I'm going to blame it on. Um, and he'll pack not enough stuff. So, and he can't wear my underwear. That would be really awkward. And I don't want him to because that's kind of gross. Um... So, you'll get this, it, it's funny. <laughs> the things we do, it's funny. Um, but we'll do bigger trips too. I'm hoping we'll get to go back to the beach. Hopefully St. Augustine again because I just can't get enough of St. Augustine, Florida. Love it. And there's a lot of history there too. A lot of things that we didn't get to do um, a couple of summers ago whenever we went there for vacation. Uh love it. They've got like one of the oldest uh, Ripley's, believe it or not, um, auditoriums, I think they call them, which is basically a museum. Um, they've got one of the oldest ones there. They have a lot of ghost tours, which is really cool. The lighthouse, which has been featured on like ghost adventurers and all those shows, which I love. Some ghost hunting. Um, it scares me to death. And I hate scary things. I can't even watch a scary movie. But I love watching ghost shows. Um, and I love doing ghost tours. I'll 
I'll probably die from a heart attack if something was to actually scare me at one of these ghost tours. Um, so I hope that we make it back there because there's a lot of pirate stuff and um, the national parks there, the Castillo, Fort Castillo, and then there's the other fort. I can't think of the name of it. Sorry, guys. Um, but you'll see it if we ever get to go back. Um, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this year, if not, then probably next year. Um, what I really want to do next year is go to Disney World. Um, none of us have ever, ever been. And I am a super Disney fan. Um, and I want to go before I die. Preferably while I can remember going and taking my children. Um, and hopefully one day I'll get to take my grandchildren. Not that I should be thinking about that right now, but I am for some reason. My oldest one is 13. She'll be 14 in May. And it seems like she was just born. So I know these next few years are going to pass by like lightning. And she's going to be having my first grandchild. That's weird to think about. I shouldn't be thinking about those things. But I do. Um, another thing we plan on doing this year is buying our first home. Um, so you all will get to go through the whole journey of that. Um... And we agree on nothing. Our taste in um, furniture and stuff is not the same at all. I like like 50s, 60s, like tiki bar, space agey look, very vintage. I also like like the you know farmhouse look. That's cool. But everybody's doing that. I don't want to be like everybody else. I want my retro furniture. I want my boomerang coffee table and a tiki bar on my patio and, um, I don't know. I don't know. I just do. But I want a farmhouse. Because that makes sense. It does. I'm in here. It does. Um, but Josh is very contemporary, and, um, I don't know. Our house will be so weird. We'll have a very eclectic collection of stuff when we finally get to go shopping for furniture and decor, and it'll be fun. Yeah. Um... But that's pretty much all I've got for today since it's yucky out. Um, we do plan on going somewhere this weekend. Uh, I don't know where because it's Valentine's Day weekend. I'm working on Valentine's Day and he's working on Valentine's Day. So we always do something that weekend following. But it'll be something small because we're both big melting pot fans. Um, which is kind of... An expensive treat, but we always treat ourselves to it for like Valentine's Day and anniversary and birthdays. Um, we always go to Melting Pot in Gatlinburg. Um, so you'll get to see that too, but that's going to be later on because we have to wait until we get paid to go. Um, because, you know, we live paycheck to paycheck. We're just your regular old Joes. Um, we, we're broke more than half the time. But it's okay because we're surviving. Um... And that's good. Why would you want anything more whenever you got everything you need already? I'm trying to be positive. Um, a lot of the reason why I wanted to do these videos um, was to kind of get a support group because I have suffered with depression and anxiety in the past and I do tend to shut myself out. Like I said, I'm a loner. I kind of shut myself away from everybody and shut all my support out and get even more depressed and anxious and just feel like the world's crumbling down around me. So I figured maybe if I do videos like this and I get support from others, um, it'll help me a little bit, kind of help me heal and um, give me some confidence and some self-esteem. Um, so, you know, 
you gotta like the videos, you gotta watch them, um, subscribe to them. Uh, if anything, I want my channel to be a lot like um, Justin Scard or Adam Wu, Adam the Wu. Um, if you all haven't seen their videos, then go on YouTube and find them because. Um, Justin Scard's probably our favorite. Um, mine and Josh's both. Um, my son loves watching Justin Scard. Abby, like I said, is a teenage girl and she, it's not cool to like what we like. Um, go figure. I don't know. Um, so, this is kind of like my quest of positivity. As Justin Scard would say. But I don't want to copy him. So I'm going to call it my um, journey to happiness. Yeah. So you all can come along with us and watch our little adventures. Um, right now I've kind of named the channel Just Jody. But I don't think I'm going to keep it that because it's not just about me. It's not going to be just about me. It's about me and my family. Um, and you guys. I want you all to come along and see these things. And be proud if you're from where I'm from. Or if you're from a place that's like I'm from. A little bitty town where there's hardly anything to do. Be proud of it. That's your home. That's where you're from. It's part of you. It's what made you who you are. Um, so be proud of it. And go out there and learn about it. And read about it. And sit with these old men that sit outside the stores maybe and listen to some of their stories. Or go talk to your grandparents before they're gone. And learn their story. And learn about what they did in the town that you came from. Um, don't ever be ashamed of it. Yeah, get out and adventure other places. I encourage anybody to move off for a little while. Move to where no one knows, no one knows your name. Um, it was a great experience. I loved it. But I missed home a lot. But it made me learn a lot about myself. And a lot about from where I'm from. Um, so I would encourage anyone to do it. Do what, do what you do. Do you. That's very cliche. It's okay. Because we're happy. And we're us. Um, anyways. Come along with us. Subscribe. Hopefully we'll get a better camera later on. Um, and we'll have better audio and better visuals. Um, for now, it's just my cell phone. And, you know work with what you got. Anyway, the river's getting high. My children are at home, probably waiting on me to come and feed them because they're teenagers and they always want food. Um, my husband should be getting off work yeah, pretty soon, so he'll be home soon. And uh, So I gotta go home and spend time with my little family that I love more than anything in the world. Um, so I guess I'll talk to you all later. I'll try to post videos um, once or twice a week for now because I work three twelves and then a six hour day also. So I'll work four days a week and it's kind of hard to um, film anything whenever I'm working because I'm just so tired. But on the days that I'm off, I'm going to try to film at least one video, if not a couple, and then post them the following week. Um, so, come along, come and watch us do our things. It's kind of funny, I promise. <laughs> Humiliating at times. Um, so, subscribe, like the videos, share them, um, and try to keep the negative away because like I said I need support I don't need um, negativity I know there's always going to be some negative comments they'll just be deleted okay so 
Don't do it. Anyways, guys, I am going to go because I'm cold. I'm freezing. Um, and I need to go feed my children. So, see you guys later. Bye.